Hi everybody, and this is the fourth video in my series on solving locus problems with complex numbers. So in this example, we're given that the magnitude of z minus 2 is equal to the magnitude of z plus i. And we should know that z is a general complex number, and the negative 2 and the positive i are two fixed points. So if we use the property z minus z1 is equal to z minus z2, which we covered in a previous video, in representing this on an icon diagram, where if we've got the two fixed points z1 and z2, the locus of the points between them would be a perpendicular bisector. Okay, so what we need to do for this example is we need to sketch this icon diagram. If we begin by identifying z1, well, z1 must be equal to positive 2. Can you see there's no imaginary parts here? And z2 must be equal to negative i. Because when you multiply this negative by the negative i, we get the positive i here. So these are the two fixed points on our eigen diagram. So if these are our two fixed points, we know the locus of the points between them will be the perpendicular bisector. That will look something like this. So what we've been asked to do is to work out the least possible magnitude of z, but we know that z must lie along this perpendicular bisector, and it must originate from the origin. So the least possible magnitude will be a line from the origin that intersects the red line at 90 degrees. So it is this length that we're trying to find. But we also know that this will have a gradient parallel to the gradient between Z1 and Z2, because they are both at right angles to the red line. And we can work out the gradient of this purple line as we're changing Y divided by the change in x. We know the change in y is positive 1, and the change of x is 2, so the gradient of this line will be 1 half, which is exactly the same as the gradient of this line, because they are parallel. And because this line passes through the origin, this will have equation y equals 1 half x. So now we know on this line, we need to find the equation of a red line, because at this point, the two intersect. And then we can make the two equations equal to find the coordinates of this point. Well, we know the gradient will be the negative reciprocal of its perpendicular line, so the gradient will be negative 2. And we can work out a point on this line by finding the midpoint of this line segment. We know the x value will be half from 0 to 2, so this will be 1, and the y value will be half from 0 to negative 1, so this will be negative 1 half. So now we have the gradient and a point on the line, we can use the equation of a line. If we say this is L1, then the equation of L1 will be the gradient, negative 2, multiplied by x minus 1, and this will equal y minus negative a half, so plus a half. We can tidy this up by expanding the brackets, so negative 2x plus 2 minus this half will equal y. So the equation of a red line then, y, will be negative 2x plus 1.5 or 3 over 2. Like I said a minute ago, at this point, this equation will equal this equation. So 1 half of x will equal negative 2x plus 3 over 2. We can move this negative 2x to the left-hand side. So 5 over 2x will equal 3 over 2. So x will equal 3 fifths. And this is the x value at this point. We can work out the y value using this equation and just dividing it by 2. So the y value will be 3 tenths. So if we draw this out again a bit bigger, 
we know the line segment from the origin will have a point where Z is, and this point will be at 3 fifths and 3 tenths. So we can Pythagorize this to work out the length from 0 to Z. This will be the square root of 3 fifths squared, so 9 twenty fifths, plus 3 tenths squared, so 9 hundredths. We can simplify this, you become a denominator. So the square root of 36 hundredths plus 9, so 45 hundredths. Taking the square root over top and bottom, we've got 3 root 5 over 10. And this will be the least possible magnitude of Z, which will be at this point. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and worksheet from our website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.